What's up, y'all? It's Jonathan Rollins. I'm back with another reaction to a Swedish classic. All right, before we get started, I want to remind you about my comedy club, The Laugh House. Go to thelaughhouse.se to see what shows we have going on. If you're in the Stockholm area, come through and laugh with your boy. Make sure to say hello when you come to a show. I'm coming to Lulio on May 10th. There's a new club coming out up there, and I'm excited to be a part of it. So come out, get tickets, and laugh with me. Also, I got three podcasts. I got Silva Hende, I got Teach Me Sweden, and I have Svenafell. So check those out wherever you get your podcasts. And now it's time for today's reaction. Today's reaction is to Dog Vog, Du for Aldrig Nog. And that sounds a little kind of aggressive, you know? Let them know. You're never satisfied, you know? That's how I take it. You're never satisfied. A little bit about the song. It was released in 1989 on the album Helk. Helky? Helky? H-E-L-Q. I don't know how you pronounce that. If you know, let me know in the comments if it's possible to write it out. I don't know. Helk? 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 No? I don't know. The song charted for 14 weeks, peaking at that number three spot. Dog Vogue is considered a rock reggae group. Picked my interest a bit, you know? I like when music is kind of rock reggae-ish. Fun fact, the band began with the name Dog Vogue Oak Svog Sinta, which is worse. <laughs> and they had like this uh, more of a punk feel to them, reportedly. And then eventually the sound morphed into this rock reggae sound that we'll hear now. This song is on their fourth studio album. They made music as early as 1977. And this was their biggest commercial success as far as I could see. And one cool little factoid is that this song came out after the band had broken up and got back together. It's almost like they got a, a refreshed feeling and then put this music out. So I'm wondering like were they ahead of their time? Was Dog Vault like ahead of their time and then now everybody's catching up? Who knows? We'll see. I saw one member of the group is named Stig Vig. So we got Stig Vig, Dog Vogue. I mean, come on man. <laughs> it's a little silly. <laughs> Y'all just have to be silly, right? <laughs> They made seven full-length albums and two EPs between 1979 and 2006. And I'm ready to hear this rock reggae sound, so let's do it. I'm going to guess it goes, uh, Do for Aldrig No. No. Do for Aldrig No. Do you? Do for Aldrig No. Do you? Do for Aldrig No. That's my guess, all right? We'll see how close I am to that with that guess. Uh, I got the lyrics right here so I can read along as I listen. And uh, here we go. Do for Aldrig Nog by Dog Bog. Okay, I guess there's not many lyrics. <laughs> All I heard was Om Bao Bao. Uh, interesting. It feels like it's got a Calypso vibe to it too. They said uh, the rock reggae, but I, I do feel the reggae influence, but I feel like there's a little Calypso in there too. Not so much rock though, but we'll keep going.
I kind of like how he's singing a little bit of a whisper, and uh, the it's catchy. The um ba ba um ba, and then the, the women come in with that. Oh, that's catchy. Um, but that's about that's <laughs> that's about it. That's a tale of it. It's like same thing over and over. I don't know. We'll keep checking it out though. So that was Du for Aldrich Nog by Dog Vog. Um, <laughs> I got enough. <laughs> enough of that one. I like what they were doing, like letting the instruments mess around. It's right around that time too when people are messing around with beat machines a little more. So they're having a little fun. I kept thinking um, that little, might have been a uh, tambourine or whatever that sound was, uh, reminded me of a basketball hitting the fence at the park. <laughs> I kept thinking about that. like. This is kind of like a, I can see this being something you'd play at a, a, at a cookout or something like that. Just, just jamming, getting ready for the summer with the kids out playing and stuff, playing some basketball, stuff like that. It made me think about uh, some good times. So it felt like a, an airy, fresh outdoor feel to it. Uh, gotta say, not a banger, not a banger. It was, uh, I'm wondering how something like this seems kind of obscure to be a song that made it to number three on the Swedish charts. It's interesting, but it shows how uh, broad the musical taste is in this country. Especially if you look through this channel, all of the, the classics that we got. Some things sound like some smooth R&B and some things sound like electronic hits. And some sounds like jazz, I don't know. A lot of this, for the most part, is popular music too. I mean, it was, it was a groove to it, but uh, not something I would run back and play again. It was uh, fun. Thanks for the suggestions. And keep the suggestions coming. Leave them in the comments and I'll read through and uh, keep adding to the list. And we're going to keep this train rolling. Look for the next list coming up soon. The next song I'll be reacting to is by Svante Turason and it's called Do See It in Man. Okay? Looking forward to that. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and get notifications, and most importantly, spread the word. Let people know about this American comedian living in Sweden, reacting to classic Swedish music. I know you keep watching these videos because do for Aldrich Nog. Huh? Huh? Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next classic. Peace.